interesting than first thought. Nico's got his hands onto a rifle, but they don't check dark. Smooya gets away with a free one, pulls out the nade at the wrong time. Smooya, that's a bit of a good scenario, isn't it? He creates some room for his teammates, but that's the key thing. The bomb is down here, and they're a little bit trapped out. Config's on low HP, he gets a quick one onto Dizian, though. This is looking spicy. Very difficult to call who's going to end up taking it. Tessus, you've got to cross and get this bomb. He will manage to find the one for one trade. Next, MP9 against MP7. Don't think I've seen an MP7 for an awful long time, but Tessus, he's thrown it away. He's dropped to the M4. Doesn't want anything to do with the MP7 madness. It's into the A1S coolness, the calmness. He's got to find a quick headshot. That would definitely spell it. The waz string of the MP9 is going to be difficult. And there it is. Next, in and out, and in and out. Player on that bomb site. Could have been disastrous had that not been a contingency. Okay. You, you oh, just can't get. Back. Yeah, you just can't go outside. Granted, it's just like it is. last game. You just, can't, you just can't face mid. You saw big, almost. Well, I mean, they threw one round away. They almost threw a couple more away because of running the clock down. However, it does seem to be working out initially. The chaos is good. Tizian, though, remains alive on the MP9. Got to put it forward. 7-8 feet. They're not quite expecting it. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on over here? Time to the next and just picks up all five. There's maybe a chance on this CT side, especially if you're running into them. There's definitely a chance. You know, and like move in a little bit, panic a little bit, stagnated, not everybody on the same page. You just have that one. Change here. Oh. This all gets distracted by the noise being made by Smooya, and it opens the round up for Thompson next, as well as able to capitalize on Cogpick Edge, trying to escape. The first opportunity is there. It's a spray, not going to be converted on the side. He's good for one. Cage and Alder, meanwhile, is holding the flank pretty. Vigorously, and Tabson turns away. Thought to look at the back of the smoke just in case they were playing the other side of it, and Optic are able to strike. Oh, is Tizian. He's going to hold the angle, get his second frag of the game. It's something incredible. Broken spray down, not quite able to get it on next. Support more and more time for the rotations to come in. Tizian's about to encroach to his left, and yeah, he swings out to try to find that kill. Then swings out. Try and allow his teammates better position, but Smooya comes into action. Able to drop the bomb in towards control. That is a bit of a dangerous situation for Optic as they get pinned down from the uh, on the cross of the site. And Zentaris, they don't clear him just yet. <gasps> He's able to completely circumnavigate MSL, clearing all of that high ground. And Tatsu, all in the meanwhile, has made his way in from the back lines. Nico, with it all to do, one versus four. And he is there for the trade. It's a it, quick cleanup. Yeah, perhaps. perhaps. This time around, though, it's a bit big. Oh, ready and waiting. Burst after burst after burst. He gets them all. Not a sick spray transfer. He unfortunately gets beat out as well. But my goodness, Config just spins around for whatever reason. But then Tizian kind of spins his and reloading. Oh, no. Tarsen going to get forced out of position. Still manages to get one before burning. But uh, we're certainly not long for this world or well that world as it would be now for him it's me however still in play being looking good being looking consistent nice little flick onto the second big smoo yeah is able to open the round up tabson goes down they're like cool we've eliminated a strong individual now we've got an advantage let's see what we can do with it but no smoo is around on the orp he's outside he's holding down for his old buddy boy tabson picking up the slack finding so many kills there's not really enough to go around, oh. right? Oh no, that's the awkward timing for Tarbson though. However, this is where the boys get to chime in. Tizian and Nex showing us how they can also hold it down as well. Tizian with a 3k. Nex picked up one in all the carnage. Config the only guy left. So once again, Tarbson falls. Not the end of the world, boys. Everybody's looking good on big. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's a long journey up that ladder. <laughs> the next line of defense, big man Smoo. MSL gonna peek into him. Like, he jumps in towards the vent. That was Centaurus' chance, but he's only able to get one. However, it's Thompson, of course, who is late. He will drop one. It's the bomb, importantly. Fire deals with Tessus. Cage and B left to try and pick up the pieces. It's now Config once again, lagging behind, lurking around. That seems to be the role that he's playing at the moment, being spotted out. Can't wait to play against Thompson. 10 1. Big games when I've been, you know, at the top of the game. I'll hold the point because the boys are moving in. Optic can they break the cycle. We'll see. It's even an advantage for Optic as Config picks up two. 
looking good. They've got some pressure down on B as well, and that will allow them to a get... little. Yeah, it needs it needs a little bit yeah, of work. Still this round. Sam Optic looking to just burst out of the door, get themselves down the vent as fast as possible, sustaining a lot of damage and doing out ahead in the duel. Really momentarily, Tizian's able to trade one back alongside his teammate in Smuya as they go for the climb in towards that ramp. Will be able to get themselves into decent post time position if the mop mop gets one in transition. Yeah, it's oh, a little awful to you though! The falling headshot, that is huge! That could really make the difference! There's the kits available, MSL is going to deny the DQs at first. Tizian, not enough time, I think maybe if he had just gotten on it, but yeah, it, it seems... Fair. Essentially a, a miscalculation in terms of how long they had to play with in the previous round. Tabs and outside, one more exchange, we were able to pick up the slack and trade one further back. To lurk himself out in towards the A site, unsuccessful. Successful in doing so, and next gets the drop on MSL. The follow up frag on Zaniko as well. Next is another they would. A lot of it has been predicated off the back of the pistols. What the hell's happened here? MSL once again, as he did four so many weeks ago. Comes in with a big frag. Config as well, gonna trade one back. Thompson, however, still alive. Crisp headshots on the A1F. He just deals with the A1 frag all by himself. Tessus survives a little while longer, but just delaying the inevitable. The inevitable 12 3 CT half from Big. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we had the stats rung up on the desk. We, we talked about it a little bit ourselves, but this is definitely catching us off guard. Look at the individual perform. I mean, not even just the individual performance, it's, the team performance. He's still alive here towards Dark, holding the aggressive angle as well, but he's very apprehensive. MSL in at control is the first line of defense. He will get gooshed out, pushed back. Tessus gets one, is traded. MSL left on three HP. Config's picked up next, so there is still an advantage here. MSL doing a great job of staying alive. Nico as well, a crisp little headshot. Cajun B will be found by Tarbson, not expecting him. Now you've given him a USB. You know what you've given him? The opportunity to clap some heads. But he's going to have to find pretty much all of them on his own. Not going to happen. Optic Gaming, they get the pistol around. And Optic can be comfortably upgrade those weapons. First to strike. Tarbson eliminated outside of the door and exit just lying and waiting. So far, these SMPs are finding every single one necessary smooth is the Cajun. only one however cajun i feel like the terrace is a little tall oh. there oh, oh no good movement yeah that's a bit awkward isn't it <laughs> and he's like right screw it i'm just gonna go rushing in up and down and up and down see the the thing is though smooth has saved me a little bit from the embarrassment because you know cajun b's crosshair placement was a little high he's now an off angle which of course i said yesterday off angles nine times out of ten out the open also now one though looks good gets two does a lot of damage onto a third, but there it is. Tizian trades MSL. Well, he doesn't. He just wins the one v one against MSL, and that's what three hundred dollars turned into six hundred. No, six k, and also another one. That's about maybe. Oh, okay, Tizian. All right, calm down, lad. Most of his damage is taken from falling. Honestly, this is a hell of a lot of damage so far. Three hundred dollars. Talk about efficiency. My man is. My man is mad efficient. He's got to retrieve the bomb. He's only got 15 seconds as well. So, yeah, we need him to die before time or win the round. He's not going to win the round. The Cajun B is going to deal with him. But what? Oh, man. He gets traded, though. That's pretty clean. Looked like they kind of lined they up a out, little bit. They ran out of time on Mirage in one of the rounds. They cannot be afford to be playing this as slowly as they are. They begin to converge, and now as they go for it. Cajun pulled out an 80 swap right back. They get the quick two entries, but that they need to be as fast as possible to get this bomb planted. Tess is the last player remaining. All he has to do is really deny the plant, but as he makes it up to the vent, Big do seal his right, fate. There, but either way, he didn't repeat that same error in the previous round. Like you said, all cards fall for Optic. They need to pull something up big here. And Nico, oh, he gets flashed up, tries to take cover, gets shot in the back. Oh, two quick response kills on the side of Optic. They bring things closer. Cage is able to try to bring the trap as well. Suddenly it's into the two on two and there's 35 seconds left. Big don't have the most amount of space, nor do they have the bomb on either of these two players. Nice flash up. Forces a peak and Tizian actually finds the final two kills, so they don't need the bomb, Yumi. Lagia and the boys being in and out, and, and then 
uh, God B as well, you know, great in-game leader, but sometimes lacking in firepower. If Tarbson can do this where he's fragging, and I believe he's also in-game leading at the moment as well, it's scary stuff. It's real scary stuff. And Optic are no means me, Cajun. That is so very awkward. Oh my goodness. That should be your kill every day. They know that Tessus is around. So they're looking to deal with him. He's caught out in the open. Cajun gets taken out by Tarbson. So yeah, 100% nothing going to be happening. Nico claps as well by the Mac 10. 15th round. Double the time necessary, but we'll see how it all plays out. I've got my tinfoil hat on. I'm ready to start shouting some conspiracy theories, but no, it looks like they're going to shut me down, bring me back to reality. Cajun beat the other one left, dealt with, with only five seconds remaining thereabouts in that round. Pretty crazy stuff, but what's even crazier is the 2-0. 16-6 on the second map.